Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can add a hover image or a hover effects onto your Google Sites website. Now, the first thing I do want to say is that uh, Google Sites do not support uh, native hover effects. So if you try to search through the options here, there won't ever be a hover effect uh, settings. So the workaround we have to do is that we're going to use a external website. It's called Common Ninja. And we can add an image of our effects to a Google Sites website by using a clever method called embedding, right? And let's try. Let's create an image of our effects. And then it'll redirect us into a page like this. And as you can see, this is what the hover effect will look like, something like this. And let's get started. First off, with the items. As you can see right now, there's an image. It is a stock image. If you want to upload your own image, you can click on this to upload image. And you can upload them here by pressing this button. Uh, I'm going to leave them be like this. Uh, let's try to change the caption. The caption I'm going to change into example caption. Right? And the description. The description is the one that comes up when you hover over it like this. This is the description, right? I'm going to change the description into an example of a description. Description. Like this. Right? And now, when I hover over it, you'll say an example of a description. And of course, when you click on this uh, image, it'll redirect into a link. Right now, it'll redirect into commonninja.com. But if you want to redirect it to someplace else like YouTube or your Facebook site, of course, you can do that. Uh, there's a couple of other options here as well, like look and feel. Like you can change the effect of the hover right now. The effect of the hover is like this, right? But you can change it to be like this. So uh, when you hover over it, it's a, a box pops up. You can also change it like this, affect chess. Pretty cool. You can also make it shrink just like this. I'm going to show you one more like this. It's a shrink as well. There's also this. A lot of options you can play with. You can also even do advanced here to change the nitty gritty of it. Or even you can do custom. Uh, you can also add custom CSS as well. You can also do a settings here. Now you can open links in new tab or will it open in the same tab. There's also integrations here that you can do. And also, of course, the analytics. But we have no analytics because uh, we haven't published this yet. Either way, let's click on this. Save changes. And then I'm going to add it a new project. And I'm going to call this project example project like this. I'm going to click on save changes. My current plan is limited to one widget. So do let that. So do take note of that. So you can only make one widget, right? Either way, let me show let me exit out. Once you exit out, of course, it looks like this. And now to get uh, the embed code, you have to click on this button, publish, and then add this. This is our code that we want to add onto a uh, Google site. Just press this button to copy the code. Now let's go to Google website. And then you want to go on the insert section here and then click on embed. On embed, go to embed code. And then in here, just paste in the code you got earlier and then click on next. Click on insert. And as you can see, our hover uh, has appeared here. Uh, I can't show you the hover effect because I haven't published my site yet. But when you publish your site, this hover effect will work.